Henri Doublé runs an organic farm near Paris. It took Henri almost 20 years for the 130 hectare colza and apple farm to go green. The changeover required heavy investment. Henri is clear that without the 48,000 euros he gets from the CAP each year, he would go bust. But he's disappointed that organic farming doesn't get a better deal in comparison to intensive agriculture. For the moment, the PAC has not responded to the demands of agriculture, of small and medium agriculture. Et au niveau environnemental, vu l'effort que l'on apporte à travers le cahier des charges d'agriculture biologique, on n'a pas eu de retour de, de l'investissement. A situation that is gradually changing. Thanks to an EU law from 2009, each member state can promote organic farming by allocating direct aid from the CAP, a first. This means that Henri will get a payment of 100 euros per hectare. Mindsets are changing and the CAP is gradually becoming an instrument to promote environmental criteria. Future reform will undoubtedly give more importance to organic products. We must pr promote added value food products throughout Europe and organic is, is one of the biggest uh, 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 tools that we can use to promote uh, and encourage consumers to buy uh, very, very good quality food. Organic farming is booming throughout the EU. In 2008, it represented 7.8 million hectares, which is 25% more than 2005. Given this context, the CAP is slowly turning to sustainable agriculture. La politique européenne aujourd'hui se traduit par euh, une réglementation appliquée dans l'ensemble des États membres et faisant l'objet de contrôles harmonisés. La, la prise en compte de l'agriculture biologique dans la politique de développement rural avec l'objectif de contribuer à son développement. Future CAP reform raises hopes amongst the supporters of sustainable development. The outcome of negotiations will show if their expectations will become reality.